Here's a compass we just built. You'd use it for doing constructions like the last video. Or you could draw circles with it. Or arcs, which is a part of a circle. What I've done here is I redrew a couple circles and ha outlined them with a sharpie so we could see them. I'm going to show you an interesting ratio here. Okay, if I find the circumference, which is the outside edge, like if you were to go all the way around the circle, I'll try and hold the string up to the circle, mark it, it's kind of a rough approximation. And I pull the string tight on a ruler, works out to be eight and five eighths of an inch. So the circumference of this circle is 8 and 5 eighths of an inch. I'll find its diameter, which is about 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. So the diameter is 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. If I divide one by the other, circumference divided by diameter, I'm going to get a ratio that is 3.14. It's a little off from that because of the inaccuracy of measurement. But the ratio of circumference to diameter is always the same for any circle. And it's called pi. It's a Greek letter pi. And it's a ratio of circumference to diameter. Do that for this smaller circle here. Go around the outside, the circumference. I'll approximate it the best I can. Pull it tight on the ruler, about four and three quarters of an inch long. So the circumference of the smaller circle is four and three quarters of an inch. Its diameter is one and a half inches. So the diameter is one and a half inches. I divide one by the other. If I had measured accurately, this as well would be 3.14. That ratio is equal to pi, and it's the ratio of circumference to diameter. Another really important thing happens here, and that is that the units cancel. So inches cancel with inches, and this number, pi, is unitless. And we're going to use that in our next lesson of Hunter's Top. Okay, So it doesn't matter how big the circle is, whether it's the equator of the planet Earth over the diameter of the Earth, it'll always equal 3.14. Or if it were a pinhead, its circumference divided by diameter would equal 3.14. This ratio has been in history for thousands of years. Okay.